everyone, this is Delilah Sophia with my June and July favorites. So I have some skincare, and then I have some eyeshadows and eye makeup stuff, some lip products, and then one nail polish. So I'm going to go ahead and get started because I do have quite a few items. So the first one is this Vita Plus Eye Cream from Shikyu Skincare um, on Etsy. And I love this eye cream. It's, it's more natural, um, but it is a cream versus an oil. I find that I like the oils at night, um, although I've been using this at night and during the daytime mostly. But um, I like the oils okay for nighttime use, but during the day, for me, they don't absorb quickly enough and they end up making my concealer or my foundation kind of slide off or crease really bad. Um, in the little lines next to my eyes. I smile and laugh a lot so I definitely have those little creases next to my eyes. And this does help keep those moisturized and kind of makes them less noticeable, which is good. Um, that's one of the few things, um, I guess the first sign of aging I'm experiencing are those little lines there, which is okay. But anyway, I love this eye cream. And then the next thing I have is this Now Solution Sohoba Oil. So I heard everyone rant and rave about jojoba oil, and I already had avocado oil and grapeseed oil, I think, as well as like sweet almonds oil, coconut oil, all those different ones. And I wasn't sure about trying another one, and this stuff is a little bit more expensive than some of the others, but I do really like this. And of course, I only got the tiny bottle to try for now, but... I really like this to smooth my hair out. I actually used it today to sort of smooth this out so it would look a little bit, um, keep the flyaways under control, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, sometimes I use it to moisturize the ends of my hair. Um, I also like it as a makeup remover, especially if I'm not feeling well or I've had a really long day. I always take my makeup off. But um, sometimes it's nice to just have sort of a quicker one step or I'll do this and then I'll just put another cleanser on top of it, depending on how heavy my makeup was that day. But this does a great job of removing all kinds of makeup, including waterproof mascara, which always seems to be the standard of excellence with makeup removers, because I don't have to scrub my face. It also takes off sunscreen, which some makeup removers do not take off sunscreen. This stuff takes off sunscreen too. And it's also a good moisturizer. Sometimes I even use it on my hands in the shower. Um, sometimes my hands get really dry, and I can't use it on dry hands, but if my hands are wet from already being in the tub or the shower, it works really great. The next thing I have is this Meow Meow Tweet Face Cleanser, and I got this from my June Petivore box, and I was so excited when I saw this in my box because I have been wanting to try Meow Meow Tweet for a long time, and I didn't quite want to make the splurge. I don't have like a huge beauty budget right now. Um, usually I like to sample things first, but I got this in my box, so I got to sample it. And it's really, really nice. It's creamier than an oil cleanser, but there are a lot of like the oils in it, so it works very well. It also takes off my mascara and sunscreen. So uh, what you do is you pump seven to eight pumps in your hand and you apply it to a dry face. I'm reading the label to make sure I'm saying this right. And then you wet your hands and massage the cleanser into your face. And it, it really does work well. Um, I haven't tried anything so far that it doesn't work on. Um, the only thing about this versus a straight oil cleanser is it can burn a little bit if it gets in your eyes. Um, which is really only an issue if you don't rinse or wipe the cleanser off well, but um, I did want to mention that because if you're used to the oil cleansing method, it is a little bit different when you go back to something that's more like a soap or that has that in it, but still very good. And then the last skincare product I have is this Good Touch Face Primer from Pure Lips or sometimes Pure Elements. They go by two different names. Um, I think they go by one on Facebook and one on Etsy. This is the only face primer I have found that works for me so far. 
Um, I've tried like the the silicone based ones. Like I tried the e.l.f. one. I tried the oh, I'm trying to remember what that brand is that everybody raves about. It's really popular but I don't use it because it doesn't work on my skin. It makes my skin too slippery and then the makeup actually just slides off. I tried coconut oil which worked okay but this works so much better. There's a lot of organic ingredients in here. Um, I'm not sure if this one, okay, yes it is. This one is 100% vegan and cruelty free. So that's really good. Um, just really quick recapping. Um, obviously I believe the jojoba oil is cruelty free. Um, I don't know any reason why it wouldn't be. Um, the Meow Meow Tweet is also vegan and I guess cruelty free as well. I'm not sure about the Vita Plus eye cream. I I can't remember if it's vegan or not but I'm pretty sure she doesn't test on animals. I'm not positive. It's a small company, so usually they don't. So that's my skincare. Now next, I have a few different eyeshadows. I'll show them to you all at once and then I'll talk about them individually. So these are all in little jars. Um, this one, I actually uh, put this in this little jar myself that closer so you can see it. Um, obviously I have a purple thing going on because <laughs> it kind of matches my nails. So this is Scaredy Cat's Chakra and I actually have it on my eyes right now on the inner corners. I'm not sure how well you can see it but that's been kind of my makeup look as of late. It's a brighter color on my inner corners. Um, since I have slightly hooded eyes and my eyes are pretty small, if I want to do color, it seems to work best either as eyeliner or on that inner corner, which is what I've really been liking lately. But this is a really pretty sort of blue-purple. It's a little bit sparkly. Let's see if I can open it without making too much of a mess. It's a little bit sparkly. And I would say the shimmer looks like it's kind of like a pale blue color. Um, I don't have the description from the site with me. Um, there's a little dust from it. But it's a really beautiful color and it's a little bit more bold than I think most people would initially be comfortable with. But as you can see, it's not super noticeable unless you're looking. And then I think it's a nice... It's a nice shade for blue eyes, but I'm guessing that brown eyes or green eyes could wear it as well. Um, now the other color, and I do a very similar thing with this one, this is Star Crush Minerals Ariel. And this is a really pretty like teal green color with, I believe, little like goldish sparkles. You well, might be able to see that a little bit. I don't want to spill it all over the floor. This is one of their older shadows. I think I got this at least a couple of years ago. They've since moved off of Etsy and she has a site now which I haven't shopped off of and I think her sizes may be a little bit different now. That was a sample size before. But I really love that color and she's got a whole set of Disney Princess inspired shades. Um, I think I have most of the other ones as well but that's the one I've been using again in a similar way on the inner corner. And then, along with those, I've also been using this one by Black Rose Minerals, and the shade is Eros, or Eros, depending on how you like to pronounce it. And this one is super messy, but it's a sort of neutral pink-white color, if that makes any sense. It's very sparkly. Um, but not, it's almost pearly, but it's not super glittery. And what I like to do is I'll put that all over my lid, and then I put the color on the inner corner. Um, especially for events when I want to wear something a little bit extra, but I don't want really heavy makeup because I've learned that super heavy makeup on my eye shape just doesn't work for me a lot. I have to spend a lot of time doing it, and sometimes I just don't have time for that. So I really like that pale color all over the lid, and then the brighter color in the inner corner because it makes my eyes look bigger and rounder and I just think it looks pretty. And then the other thing I usually use for that is I do a little bit of black eyeliner, usually a little wing, and then along roughly the half, outer half of the up upper lash line. And this is a mineral liner by Urzuli Cosmetics. This is intense black and it's their Natura Gel Mineral Eyeliner. 
So when I switched to more natural makeup, the only thing I could not find, oh, let's get that right side up. The only thing I couldn't find was a gel eyeliner and I already knew liquid eyeliner wasn't for me. I just can't apply it properly. But I had used gel eyeliners before with like a little slanted brush and that seems to be the best way for me to apply that sort of makeup. I could not find one that worked and then I don't know why I didn't check Urzuli before I did because I love a lot of their other products. So this is really, really good, especially if you're looking for a gel eyeliner and you're looking for something more natural. Um, and then the other thing I have, and this is the last eye product, is this Urzuli Cosmetics Dark Star Blue Mascara, and this is a mineral mascara. So, I actually have a little bit of, like, a mixed review on this. There's the brush. Um, as you can see, it's a very, like, thin consistency. Um, it's not watery, but it is a thinner, like, gel almost. So I have this on right now, along with the eyeliner. Hopefully you can see that. And I, I do really like this. It looks very natural. I did not curl my lashes. Um, I'm going to kind of trying something new and not curling them as much. But this wears really well unless you rub your eyes a lot. If you rub your eyes a lot, it does come off. Um, I haven't noticed that the heat makes it come off or anything. I actually wore it to the zoo and it was a little bit warm that day and I wore it when I went down to Tennessee to see my family. It was definitely warm down there and I didn't have any problems with it then. Um, if anything, I get the occasional smudge, but it's not bad. This isn't waterproof, though. Um, just keep that in mind. But if you're pretty good at not touching your makeup, this is actually a really good natural option. And it holds pretty well. Um, I mean, it's not going to keep your lashes super curled, but it's good for that just making your lashes a little bit darker and things like that. So if that's something that you like, this is great for you. If you're looking for more dramatic, you might want to try um, some other things, but you probably won't find that in the more natural brands either. Okay, now lip products. Hopefully I'm not making this video too long. So this is what I'm wearing right now. And this is Medusa. And as you can see, this is a really, it's really simple packaging. It's just a black tube with like a handwritten label. This comes from a company called Tater Rounds on Etsy. And honestly, when I first saw the name, I was a little unsure. Um, but I have bought several of her lip products. I think I have a couple other things too. This, this, and I actually have another one that's a little bit of a more purple shade called uh, Black Plum, I think. This is the best wearing, most moisturizing, highly pigmented lip color I've ever tried from a, actually at all, probably. Um, the only one I have that maybe comes close is my Bite Beauty. But these, I wore those for my anniversary this couple weekends ago. I wore it all day. Actually, I think I wore the Black Plum, but either way. Wore it all day. It wore beautifully, and they don't dry my lips out. Almost every lip color I try dries my lips out. Especially the matte colors and things like that. But I really love that. It's very affordable. Definitely check her out if you haven't seen her stuff before. And then I have another wonderful um, indie company. She just recently made her own website um, instead of being on Etsy, but this is from KQ. And this is the Besso Balm in Rose Apple. Let's see if I get that right side up for you. I love the little slant tip tube. And I will tell you that while this one looks very, very vibrant, um, I'll swatch it for you so you can see. It's actually a tint, and it's a really nice sort of coral pink tint. Moisturizing again. Really lovely. She also makes some more pigmented shades. Um, I love the... Uh, she's got a new one called Dragon Fruit that's this bright sort of red-pink color. Super pigmented. Again, wears very well. Um, hers are also very moisturizing too. 
definitely check that out. She only has a very limited number of each one. She comes very highly recommended, um, even though her stuff is a bit hard to get a hold of sometimes, um, in a good way. Okay, so the next one I have is, this is a Bite Beauty double-ended, um, I think these were actually stocking stuffers. Um, I got this over the holiday. Didn't have most other stuff I wanted at Sephora, but now I don't buy that stuff anyway, so. So this is Palomino, and I'm going to go ahead and swatch these as well. And this end is Violet. Did it go on quite the same? Okay, so Palomino and Violet. And actually, when I put them on, Violet is a little bit more of a violet pink color, whereas Palomino is more, I guess you would say it's like a bright coral reddish pink. <laughs> Um, they're both really nice, so I'm really liking the vibrant, the really vibrant pigmented opaque colors right now, as you might be able to tell. So that I really like. The other thing, and this is almost more of a skincare, is this Sweet Strawberry uh, Natural Herbal Lip Tint from Sweet Creek Soaps. And I recently had to order more shampoo. And I was like, you know, I'm going to go ahead and try one of their other products. And I feel like I can never have enough lip balm, and I've kind of been loving strawberry lately. So I went ahead and got this. I really like it. It does give a little bit of a sheer tint. Um, it's really, really sheer. Um, it smells really nice. Um, looking at the ingredients now. Yeah, it's a natural flavor oil where the fragrance comes from. So no fragrance, even though it does have a scent. Smells like strawberries. Um, it doesn't have an artificial fragrance in it, which is good for those of you who do not like artificial fragrances. So there's that. And then the last lip product I have is this. Um, this is the KQ Lip Liner. And this is one of the um, like clear lip liners. Or, um, so it doesn't have a color to it. And it's just beeswax and coconut oil. It's really easy to sharpen. Um, I think it was pretty inexpensive too. And she uh, presses all the oils by hand, the label says. And so I tried this when I ordered my recent samples and the Rose Apple Besso Balm because I had one of these, but it was the Milani one, and that one's not so natural. Um, worked really well though. Um, but this works really well. Um, the beeswax is a little bit more, um, it's not quite, it's not silicone, so it doesn't go on like silicone, but it is a great lip liner, worked really well, highly recommended as well. I wear this almost every day. The only time I don't is if I'm wearing like a lip balm and I don't feel like I need it. Really nice. Um, it's kept pretty much all of my lip colors from bleeding, so that's really nice. Now. The last thing I have is the nail polish that I'm wearing right now. And this is the Essence Color and Go in Oh My Glitter. I didn't think, I've had this polish for a while, and I didn't think I would like it. It was like, ah, it's kind of a bright purple color. And it pretty much is the color that you would think, given the lid and everything, but for some reason, once I put it on, I feel like it looks really nice on my skin tone and it works with the colors I've been wearing lately. I've been wearing a lot of this like sea green and mint green and stuff like that. But it also goes okay with my black stuff. It's, I, I mean it's not a neutral really, but for me it's kind of been a neutral lately. So I really like this. It does take three thin coats to get what I would call fairly opaque. Um, looks like I just nicked a nail at some point. Um, and so, you know, if you don't like stuff that you have to do a couple coats with, then maybe not. But it's actually purple with like with pinkish glitter in it, although I I see the glitter a little more this time, but the last time I did my nails with this, I didn't see the glitter as much. It's really pretty though, and it's also very inexpensive. And from what I can find, it's at least three free. So, there's that. I don't see any other information about it on here. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the ingredients on the bottle. So 
that is my June and July favorites. Hopefully you see something here that you liked too. And let me know in the comments what your favorites have been or if you see anything in this video that you're thinking about purchasing now that you've seen it. And I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching.